Hey everyone, welcome to Two Car Pros. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to reset the service interval on a modern automobile. What do I mean by that? So, on this particular vehicle, it's a 2018 Mercedes GLA non AMG, and it has a service bulletin come up and says, Do service B. We already did service B, the hardware side of it is done, and we did an air filter and we did an oil change, but since we're not a dealer, it is difficult to get that message off of there without external hardware. Now, there is some people out there that suggest that you can do some sort of handshake and, and what I mean by that is something that you can like push buttons in a certain sequence and you know pump the gas, pump the brakes with the engine off and you know that, that works for older stuff but somewhere around 2017, 2018 it's really not working anymore and I contacted Mercedes and tried to ask when that change happened and they were not going to give me a straight answer because of course not but as best as I can find out it's somewhere around 2018 and uh, they did some sort of mid-year refresh and now the newer Mercedes you can't do the you know the handshake procedure to get that service off of there and actually when I took this Mercedes to the dealer to ask them if they could just take the uh, service off of there because I had done the service myself, they had told me that it is illegal for them to do, which is not true. They were completely and totally lying to me when they said it was illegal. It might be against Mercedes policy, but not the law. Those are two completely different things. So you can't trust the dealers as far as you can throw them. So that's where the aftermarket comes in. Now, unfortunately, these scanners uh, cost about $500 or so, and I say it later on in the video, but I'll say it again. I will leave a link down below in the description to them. If you have an automobile made after 2018, just go ahead and buy one of these scanners. I guarantee you, you are gonna use it not only to reset service intervals, but to also work on your vehicle, like to service your ABS, or to say your service the traction control module, and many other systems that might need a reflash if you replace them. And this video also applies to any make and model after 2018. We just decided to use this Mercedes because it came up. And Mercedes computers are typically the trickiest. They're right up there with BMW. Basically all the German stuff, the computers are really hard to deal with and that's just the fact of working on them. They make them difficult so you have to take them to the dealer. I mean, that's just how things are going to keep going. And if you think they're going to get easier in the future, they're not. What's going to happen is everything is going to need a computer to tell your vehicle to work properly. That way you're forced to either bring it to the dealer and pay out the nose or take it to a mechanic who pays, let's say Mercedes in this case, who pays Mercedes for that licensing equipment to flash uh, computers inside of their ECM, PCM, and overall CAN system. So what do we do if you are a DIY person who's doing this in your garage? You should have the ability to change your oil in your own garage. You bought the car, it's your car, you should be able to change your own oil. I completely agree. What you're going to need is one of these fancy pants scanners from Autel. And I've used a couple other scanners uh, in the past, and these ones seem to be the most consistent and not an absolute eye-watering amount of money. The scenario is this Mercedes came in. It needed an oil change and air filter. We went ahead and did the actual physical labor. We actually did the physical labor, so that used to be job done. You know, you don't need to do anything else, but that service interval screen when you start up the car still flashes, so we need to take care of that. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, so let's jump in. So where we're gonna start is right here in the driver's foot well, and we're going to look up and underneath the bottom of the dash. We're gonna see right there where it says OBD. We can open that to expose our OBD2 port. And then we're gonna grab our scanner and we're gonna plug it in to the OBD2 port just like that, perfect. So traditionally on a vehicle, you would just turn your key to the second position and then the ignition would come on without the engine coming on. But with these more modern vehicles that just have the push button, all you do with your foot off of the brake, so your foot is not on the brake, you just touch that button and then the ignition comes on, and now we can scan the vehicle. So what I have here is my Autel Maxicom MK808. It is not the newest scanner that's available. I believe they make a 908 right now. I will leave a link down below in the description to this unit and the updated unit. Now, unfortunately, this scanner is pretty pricey. It's about $500, but here's the thing. With modern vehicles, you're gonna have to spend the money on this. I, there's really no way around it. So we can see our really cool screen here, and what we can do is select Service, Oil Reset, and then I like to do the VIN search in the top left where it auto detects so it just searches and it makes sure that uh, what we're working on is exactly what the computer knows we're working on. 
because it has it down to the VIN number, not just to make and model. Perfect, there's our VIN number. We can hit OK. It's gonna decode that information for us, tell us exactly what engine and transmission and whether or not this particular Mercedes is an AMG or not. We're gonna hit OK. And we can verify that information again, hit yes. We can select instrument cluster, which is what we need to access to tell it that the service has been done. And this might take a minute, so be patient. So now we're gonna select confirmation of general maintenance. And it's gonna scan through our computers to see, to see the maintenance status of our vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and select F1. And there we go, we can see that this is what our uh, code is coming up as B3, that's our service B code, and it has been expired by 19 days and we have driven it over a thousand miles since that has popped up. So we're gonna hit continue, and there we go, it's been reset, check that out, because now it says remaining distance until next service due, 10,000 miles. I would not push it to 10,000 miles personally, I wouldn't go a mile past 8,000, but that's me, and now you guys know exactly how to reset your maintenance schedule just like that. And it's completed after we push continue. So we know it's done. So now what we can do with the ignition on is push the power button again to turn it off. And now we can unplug our scanner. So now we can turn our scanner screen off and under here unplug our scanner and Close our door. So now I have the vehicle on, and before it had a service B light, this also applies to a service A, what I've just done, and now it's good to go. So this is how to reset a service interval on a modern automobile. I know it's kind of vague, but it's true. These scanners are meant to work on a giant variety of vehicles. On that scanner, it even has a section for Bugatti. Will it work on a Bugatti? I'll never know. I'm never gonna work on a Bugatti, but it is there. So it gives you an idea of how expansive the you know, range of cars is on these scanners. So again, if you have a more modern automobile, it might be worth it to you to buy one of these scanners so you don't have to take it to the dealer and get ripped off. Thank you so very much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time.